Hello and welcome to our series of screencasts. With these videos, we want to demonstrate how to use some of the Excel tools of the toolbox provided by GIZ and FAU. Today, we will speak about the Farm Analysis tool. My name is Hanna and I work with the Ostfalia University of Applied Science. The first sheet of the tool is the README sheet. It give, gives some general information. The tool allows for assessment on farm productivity through its average annual agricultural production. The tool is useful for establishing a baseline or to assess the impact of plant investments. It allows to support a farm enterprise towards identifying unnecessary costs, determine best value agricultural activities and correctly monetize different farm inputs. For our case, we use the data of the country case card Kenya. You find it at the Ener Energypedia toolbox site by clicking on Training and then moving to Kenya, country case card Kenya. Download the case card and you find a world file with data of Mary's farm the situation and the question to answer. Now we move to the sheet general information and see that some data are already in this sheet. These data should give users a feeling of what kind of data they have to use. For our case, we remove the data. Certainly, you would use own data. However, in our case, we enter data from the country case card Kenya as a demonstration. Country is Kenya, and the farm name is Mary Venjiku's farm. The region is Taita Taveta, and the date is the one you are filling in the sheets. In our case, let us take the 30th of April 2019. We want to see the agricultural planning period for two years and enter here 2019 and 2020. We use Kenyan shillings as we are in Kenya. acre for the area measurement unit and kilogram as the weight measurement unit. From the country case card Kenya, we know that Mary owns 2.5 acre of land. Only one acre is used for season seasonal cropland. That means 1.5 acre is fallow land. We move to the sheet equipment and assets. Again, we have to first remove the data that are already in. For Mary's case, we enter the assets that are the warehouse with 250,000 Kenyan shillings, the tiller with 50,000 Kenyan shillings, and the livestock shed with 250,000 Kenyan shillings. The costs of the existing equipment are taken from the country case card Kenya. An indicative normal lifespan is given in the table on the right of the sheet. But you know yourself that the lifespan depends very much on the quality of your equipment. The annual depreciation is calculated automatically. It is a cost for the farm as it has to consider the depreciation for later replacement of the equipment in question. We have entered the data. The salvage value is not needed in our case. Now we get the total annual depreciation of 35,649 Kenyan shilling as a result. We go now to the next sheet, which is income, crops and livestock. Again, we first remove the data, which are already in the sheet. For Mary's farm, we enter all the income from seasonal crops perennial crops and livestock. There are tomatoes grown on one acre. We use kilogram and the yield per acre is 20,000 kilogram. The estimated market price is 25 Kenyan shillings per kilogram. No perennial crops are mentioned. So we go down and find that there are three dairy cows on the farm. 
we use the byproduct calculator on the lower right to calculate the liters per year we get from the cows. Each of them gives 10 liters per day for 300 days per year. This adds up to 9000 liters per year. We insert this data. The milk is sold for 50 Kenya shillings per liter. The gross income from the cows is now calculated at 450,000 Kenya shillings per year. We go to the next sheet, which is other income, but we can see that there is no other income mentioned for Mary's farm. So let us go to the sheet financing. And again, we remove the data. We know from the country case card Kenya that there is a loan from Alpha Bank of 600,000 Kenyan shillings. The loan has been provided for three years and the credit has been taken in January, which means that we have to enter one for January here, as year we assume 2019. The annual interest rate is 16%. The worksheet calculates the monthly and the total annual loan re repayments. You can use the manual calculator as well. However, it is easier to use the automatic calculator as we did just now. We are now dealing with the fixed and variable costs. Here we see that the financing fees have already been taken automatically from the financing sheet, the sheet number 5, and the depreciation cost from the equipment and assets sheet, which is sheet number 2. We know from the country case card that Mary pays a monthly land tax of 4000 Kenyan shillings and a monthly contribution to the social fund of 1000 Kenyan shillings. Now we can see that a sum of 347,780 Kenyan shillings is calculated as a total fixed cost per year. Fuel cost for machinery amounts to 50 liter at a price of 79 Kenyan shillings per liter, which gives 3,950 Kenyan shillings per year. We divide it by 12 so that we can enter 329.17 Kenyan shillings per month. We see 329 Kenyan shillings in the table because only rounded numbers are shown here. Two temporary staff are employed for six months each and get 18,000 Kenyan shillings per month, which makes 216,000 Kenyan shillings per year. Local seeds have been bought. 60 kilogram at a price of 100 Kenyan shillings per kilogram makes 6,000 Kenyan shillings. We divide it by 12 months and enter it. Fertilizer has been bought. 70 kg at 50 Kenyan shillings per kilogram makes 3,500 Kenyan shillings. We divide as well by 12 months and enter 291.7 Kenyan shillings for every month. Herbicides have been bought as well. 150 liter at 200 Kenyan shillings per liter makes 30,000 Kenyan shillings. Divided by 12 months gives us a monthly value of 2,500 Kenyan shillings, which we enter. Repair and maintenance costs of 30,000 Kenyan shillings occur. This gives us a monthly cost of 2,500 Kenyan shillings. Variable costs per year is calculated from these values and sum up 289,450 Kenyan shillings. We go to the farm income statement sheet. This is a summary of income and expenditure and shows us the situation on the farm. At the same time, it gives the answer to the question asked in the country case card Kenya. The only value needed here is the anticipated losses of total sales, which we assume as 10% in our case. The farm's gross income is 855,000 Kenyan shillings and the total cost or total expense is 637,230 Kenyan shillings. The farm's total variable costs are 289,450 Kenyan shillings and the gross farm profit is calculated as 217,770 Kenyan shillings. 
You can also see some indicators for the farm's economic status on the bottom of the page. In the graph, you can easily see that labor is the highest variable cost factor. The crop price calculation sheet is a supplementary sheet for calculating average annual costs for selected crops and livestock, based on seasonal monthly variations. If you have variable data over the months, this sheet gives you an average price which you can use back in the income crops and livestock sheet, which is sheet number 3. The quick check sheet gives you a first and quick overview of your farm expenditure and income. If you are in doubt about the farm's profitability, it is the sheet to do first as a rough calculation before you enter into the process with all the other sheets.